Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my monthly update for Project 10 Uses. You guys know how this goes by now, but this is a project where I work on 10 products at a time. I chart my usage. Once I've used them 10 times, they roll out and I can roll something new in. It's a good way for me to get more use out of more of my collection while project panning because typically to be a project panner, you got to focus in on a small group of products until you achieve whatever goal you've set for yourself. However, I have a very large collection, which means that while I'm project panning, unless I'm doing something like this, everything else is not getting touched at all. And that didn't feel right either. So this feels like a good mix for me. And it also allows me to freshen up um, my day-to-day -day makeup looks and it keeps things interesting because sometimes you're doing the same look, oh, well, I'm rarely doing the same look over and over. But in theory, if you're doing the same look over and over, just bringing in one different item can make it feel brand new again. But I have so many projects going on that I'm not really doing the same thing day in and day out. I change it up pretty often. Anyways, I have met my goal on one item for this month, only one, so that will be rolling out. That is the lip I am wearing in this video right now, my ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Marmalade. I love this lipstick. I'm so glad I put it in this project. Here it is right here. It's, it's not a red. It's like a rosy pink shade, but it's but as close to red as I like to go. And I love this shade very much. It's bold, but it's still kind of subtle. I don't know how it does it, but I really enjoyed this. Um, ColourPop lipsticks have a pretty strong, distinct scent like cookie. And if you know it, if you've smelt it before, you know it, but it's a pretty strong scent. I almost think it's I know it sounds crazy for me to say this because you guys know how much I love scented makeup, but I almost think it is scented too much. It's almost a little overkill, but I really enjoyed this and I'm so glad I had a chance to use this. There's still a lot of product left in here. Maybe, oh, there's a lot. Maybe one day this will work its way into a more long-term project, but for now it is going back in the office. The other nine products in this project are going to be rolling over for another month. Um, I, I'm kind of surprised I didn't hit the 10 uses on more products, but I guess I used everything a little and nothing a lot is how I would describe it. But let's get into where I am at currently with those nine products. First of all, the item that's been in this project the longest is my Desi and Katie quad. Uh, in collaboration with Dose of Colors. I guess I should call it my Dose of Colors quad in collaboration with Desi and Katie. Anyways, this is what it looks like. At one point, I had all four of these eyeshadows in this project. And since then, I've used this one 10 times, this one 10 times, and this one 10 times. This is the only remaining shadow in this project, and I am up to eight uses. I'm wearing it today um, on top of my Maybelline Color Tattoo eye base that's in my Panner's Pan Project. It's a nice shade. It's a good shade for fall. Um, it's a little bit dark. It's a little bit smoky, but um, yeah, it's good. I got two more uses to go. Hopefully, hopefully I'll get there by next month. I'm ready to move that one out of this project. It feels like it's been around forever because it has. Next is my Milani Shadow Eyes in Royal Purple. I'm up to three uses with this. I only used it one time in the past month. And the reason I haven't used this as much is because I have a couple of other purpley eye bases that I have in my graveyard project pan. And that project is ending at the end of December. So I'm trying to give those more love and attention than this one. Um, but as soon as that project is over, I will probably start working on this one a little bit more. But I, when I want a purple eye look, I'm reaching for the purple eye base that's in my graveyard project pan over that one. Next is ColourPop's Ritz. I am up to four uses with this. I don't know where I was at last month, but I think I used this at least once in the past month, I, I think. This is my Maybelline lip gloss in uh, 
Pink Diamonds. I've had this for a really, this is an old project. Uh, this is an, a very old product. It's the oldest that's in this project and might be one of the oldest in my collection. But I am up to four uses with this. Next is my Rowan Disco Eye. I am still at one use with this. This is the glittery champagne-y shade that was gifted to me from Elizabeth. And so yeah, I'm still only at one use for that. My Victoria Beckham Tea Rose, I'm at one use for this. I, I don't know if I was at one use last month or not. I don't know if that one use came this month or previously, but I've used it one time. It's a beautiful chocolatey smoky eye look with a little hint of plum. Just a hint. It's mostly chocolatey, but there's a little hint of plum. But I am only at one use with that. And next is the last product that was gifted to me from Elizabeth. This is my Chantecaille lipstick in Tulip. And I still haven't used this one yet. This is still at zero. I was determined to finish up my sample of my Bobbi Brown Crushed Liquid Lip Sample in red before I started with this. And um, I have some good news, but I'm gonna be working on this soon. When I feel like going for a bold red lip, it's going to be that one very soon because Next is my Revlon HD lipstick in Desert. I wore this three times in the past month. I reached for this a lot. I really like this shade. It is my kind of shade. It's um, not unlike Marmalade, but it's definitely more muted, a little bit lighter, a little bit more sheer. So more wearable for sure. And the final product uh, that's rolling over for one more month is my Cover Effects palette. I'm working on the first shade. It's a cream highlight shade right here. Yes, this one right here. And I am at seven uses with this. I've basically been using it every day for the past week. I'm wearing it today. Obviously, I have a powder highlight on top of it, so I can't give all the credit to this, but I have been really enjoying this. It's a really good cream highlight and I had never used it before putting it in this project last month. So I'm really happy to be trying this out for the first time. I haven't really used any of these other three shades. This one is also a cream highlight and then these two are powders. So um, yeah, it's an all highlight palette. That's crazy. But I have been really enjoying this and I only have three more uses to get to 10. So I think I will be rolling that out at next month's update. So I only get to roll in one new product for this month. Sadly, I went straight to my fall shop my stash box to pick a new item. And the item I decided to go with is another lip product to replace the lip product I hit the 10 uses on. And um, it's one of the Marc Jacobs, what are these called? Le Marc Liquid Lip Crayon. This is the shade Burn Notice. It's a fall warm kind of cinnamon brownie shade it's the kind of color that i only want to wear at a certain time of year and that certain time is right now i've only heard good things about these crayons i i hope i don't love it too much because as you know i can't purchase this again mark jacobs is no longer selling makeup but um you know, I, I got this set and I would like to enjoy it. And I think this is the right time of year to enjoy this pretty shade. So I'm rolling this in. I'll give you, my hands are dry. So I just put on a bunch of lotion, but there's a swatch of it. This is the kind of shade my friend Jamie loves. She wears this shade all year round and it looks so good on her. But for me, I feel like I can only wear it in fall. It's got a lot more reddy orange than brown to it. it. When I see it, I think, oh God, that's brown, but it's not that brown. I mean, it's a little brown, not too bad. Anyways, I'm excited to try it out and see what I think of it and finally get some use out of these Marc Jacob crayons that I bought back when I found out Marc Jacobs was going out of business and I panic bought as much as I could stand to buy. So 
that is it for Project 10 Uses, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.